Alright, I'm Beetle Knights, and welcome back to Turkey Town. We're actually playing How to Survive 2, uh, Turkey Edition, Turkey Simulator Edition. This mission, we're doing a mission with lots of turkeys, and oh my god, there's so many turkeys. So, uh, anyone who doesn't know, this is How to Survive 2. It's a game about zombies and how to survive them. And, uh, for some reason, we are fighting a metric shit ton of turkeys. Holy god. Oh, we're running out of ammunition. This is a serious problem. This is a serious problem. We are out of ammo. This is how the turkeys win, folks. This is how the turkeys win. We are going to have to get good at melee real fucking quick. Oh, God. Yeah, I accidentally let the, the previous video go to 40 minutes because I was so busy murdering all of the turkeys. Holy crap. Actually, you know what? Oh... This is where we make our last stand. Um, I just remembered I never actually got rid of the needle thrower. We still have that. So I guess we're going to switch back to our crossbow. Which I do not feel like the crossbow is the optimal weapon to be using here. But I don't think we have terribly much choice. Oh, actually, that's a, that's a pretty good fire rate. Since we don't have to pull back for a full kill on them, that's not a bad fire rate, but we are limited in the amount of ammunition we brought, which was not a bunch. Shut up, Pelican! Ah. Oh. I don't want to know... Oh, yep, yeah, it's just damage. Okay. Hey, we found him! Awesome. Let's go ahead and drink our berry juice. Too late, they didn't even leave a crumb. Uh, do we want to go find the large raw eggs? I don't know. Well, there's one. We only need seven. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Confirm quest. Get me out of here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, me oh my. That was ridiculous. That was completely insane. That was totally bonkers. I loved it though. Holy crap. Never in a million years did I think I'd be... You know what it actually reminded me of? Is the old uh, South Park game for like the Nintendo 64. I think there was some turkey apocalypse style thing that was involved in that. That was a good game. Anyways, yes, for anyone who doesn't know, we're playing How to Survive 2, which is a game about uh, zombie survival and how to survive them. It is uh, pretty good. It's the sequel to How to Survive 1, which is an Xbox Live Arcade game that released some number of years ago. I want to say 2010 to 11, maybe? Um, this is mostly a, this is actually entirely a blind let's play. I know nothing about the game other than what I am uncovering as I go. Uh, just like everyone else is watching this, hopefully. Well, you're not. I mean, if you guys know anything about the game, it's not, you know, a bad thing. Just... Uh, if you are, if you're new to the game, then I am experiencing it along with you for the first time. So let us go back to our camp, which is right up here, leaf bunker, glorious base, uh, new Kovac city, as the guy who runs this place calls it. So we have a lot of crafting that can be done. We can make eggs. We can make cooked meat. Sautéed beef with peas. Let's do that. Let's make some, uh... Eh, well, I'll leave one cooked meat. We might want to thank, use that for something. Ooh, stop Thanksgiving turkey like this. Uh, we need required building level 5. Steel grate. I don't know how we're going to get a grate, but we're going to find one because I want a stuffed turkey. And let's go here. So we ran through all of our uh, ammunition for our handgun. Uh, let's go ahead and make some... We can now make fletched crossbow bolts. So I think we are going to indeed make a good deal of fletched crossbow bolts. Oh, excuse me. Um, 30 seems good. That seems fine to me. And what else can we make? Let's just go through the melee weapons, bone breaker. We still don't have the stuff for that. We need an engine housing. Wow. Uh, we already have one of these handguns. I don't feel like we need another one. We could make the Judge, which is a lever-action rifle. 
I don't feel like that's necessary. I'd rather, you know, preserve our uh, supplies such as they are. Really, the box of nails. I think we're going to need box of nails for a lot of stuff. We already have the needle thrower. We have crossbow or uh, crossbow and uh, bow and arrow. And I do think we want to make as much of this as we can. Now, we picked up some saltpeter, which I assume we can use to make gunpowder when we combine it with coal. But I don't know where we might find the recipe for that. So let's go ahead and make... Oh, did we run out? Why did we run out? Oh, because we don't have any more uh, lead pallets. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go to our personal crafting. And see what res recipes uh, we have for us. Small dressing, yeah, sure. We'll make some of those. I want to go up to 10. I like having 10. I feel like if we always go back up to 10, then we're never going to run out. Baseball bat, we already have one of those. Uh, leather straps, we need to be higher level for that. Alright, so I know that we could probably combine the saltpeter and the coal to make gunpowder, but it doesn't seem like the game wants to let us do that yet. Which is fine. Bye, me. Let's go ahead, since we have these fancy fletched crossbow bolts that do 50 damage instead of 40, and they have much better penetration power, let's go ahead and use them. And, uh, what do we want to do next? Probably talk to Kovac, see what he has for us. That side mission was pretty fun, but, uh, not our, not our primary... I actually don't know what the point is, what the goal is. I don't know where the, uh, where a good stopping point for this Let's Play would be. Uh, maybe just running through the entire game, I don't know. That kind of depends on uh, you guys. If you like the game and you want to see more, please uh, feel free to let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. I'm sorry if you can hear that. That's my dog whining in the background. I took you out, like, not so long ago. It was like two episodes ago. Why are you whining? Yeah, I'm going to have to take him out between this episode and the next if he can, uh, if he can manage to last that long. Come here, boy. I'm going to pat your head. Anywho, so what are we doing? We're talking to Kovac. Let's see what he has to suggest. Panic room. All right. Point in time, we have to acknowledge the New Kovac City is not enjoyed the blistering growth that I expected. Be allowed a few days ago, while in town, a spotted a building with lots of resources that we can the same infected then offered him a very warm. So we have to go find an infected, kill him take his uh, key and then find all the stuff from the the thing. So let's bump up the quest because I think, you know, it's more fun when we bump the quest up and have a little bit of a struggle, a little bit of difficulty. That turkey mission would not have been nearly as bad, I think, if we hadn't bumped the quest up, the quest level from uh, five to seven. Oh, the endless loading scene. The endless loading. Oh, how used to it we have all gotten over the course of these videos. And by used to it, I mean I still hate it, but whatever. I'm enjoying everything else about the game. I think it's a lot of fun. So, I am willing to forgive the loading. And it's only in between missions and stuff like that. So, like going from fast traveling with the bunker doesn't have any uh, load time to it, so. And we are actually really close to our weight limit. Holy cow. I didn't realize that. Well, hopefully we won't go too far over it. If I remember correctly... There is... Can I drag this bar? No? Okay. Well, fine. That's quite dumb. Uh, thighs of steel, but it requires level 10, so we can't upgrade it just yet. We have a lot of experience points, actually. We should definitely be upgrading our, uh, our stuff more. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's an exploder. No, thank you. So let's, uh, since we are running pretty close to our uh, weight limit, let's not mess around uh, too terribly much. Let's just try to try to find the the dude that we need to find. 
Ah, a chocolate bar. You know, I bet that one of our food items might help us out. That's melee damage. That's also melee damage. So apparently when you eat meat, you hit harder. Good to know. No, I was hoping one of our uh, cooked items might increase our carrying capacity, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Hey, okay, apparently that was a way for us to gain access to a new area. Holy crap, that's the pelican. Okay, so these are just now a normal thing. That is something that we're going to find all the time now. This should be, yep, a uh, double kill. And I think that's one of the real benefits of the uh, the flesh bo bo uh, bolts over the normal bolts is that anytime you have two zombies lined up like that, it'll be a lot easier to get a uh, double kill on them. It seems like the, the range on the double kill is uh, quite extensive, as it were. Some gunpowder, excellent. We do uh, need a fair amount of that if we want to use the, the handgun that often. Doesn't seem like there's anything over here. So let's uh, jump down if we can. I think we'll probably be able to jump out this balcony. Yep. We'll go down here. See what there is to see. Can we get up on the school bus? No, apparently not. I think the game does an interesting thing actually where it calculates if the bolt would hit if it penetrated and then decides based on that how far the bolt does go because we can, we've we seen that the bolt can kill two people that are, have uh, quite a distance between them but if you just fire it at someone who doesn't have anyone behind them it doesn't go very far. Nice! That's actually really awesome. Pelicans suck and killing two of them at once is a uh, pretty big deal. Oh god. Is that a dog? What the hell? That is not something I want to fight. And doing this is a, a good deal more risky. We're not, um... No, thank you. <laughs> just nope. Uh, we're not killing zombies as we go. We're instead just running right through them. Uh, which does mean that we could get into a situation later on where we find a whole... Mother! Holy crap, ton of zombies. Holy crap. Holy... Oh my god. Oh, my strategy has hit a... Uh, has hit a, a weakness. There's a weak spot in my strategy. Oh man, those are runners too. Oh, and we don't even have the... Um... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Berry juice. Help me out, berry juice. Oh, vitamins. Now is your time to shine. Why can we not recover? Oh, oh boy. Oh, okay. This is it. This is, I think this is it, gang. I think this is the end. I think this is the end of our intrepid heroes. We gotta kill the dogs. That's the most important thing. I don't know why, but we can't generate health, and I can't take the time to go into my inventory. Or I can't generate stamina, and I can't figure out why, and I can't take the time to go into my inventory and try to figure it out. Okay, so, in the future, don't do what I did. Be methodical. Not being methodical gets you freaking killed. Pick up all the crossbow bolts, because there are a lot of them, and they are, you know, a little bit expensive. I don't want to... You know, I think it's situations like that where I really want a frickin' shotgun. Fuck. Okay. So. 
Awesome. Uh, I'm betting that the the dude that we need to kill is in that massive pile of zombies. And if that's the case, we're going to have to go back and try to eliminate them. Now, this is somewhere where the flesh crossbow bolts actually do come in pretty handy. Because um, it's going to be very, very easy to get uh, double or even possibly triple kills based upon how the game works. Um, when all the zombies are in a giant pile like that. Oh, security key. Awesome. Okay, we got the security key. Uh, where the heck is the... Uh, security room then. We have to find the, the panic room. He said that the guy fell off a balcony. I assume... Sorry for going um, silent, just, you know, it's, uh, we are, fighting quite a lot of zombies. I definitely think that bumping up the difficulty was the way to go. I think it's a lot more uh, fun and interesting for me and hopefully for you. Um, but it, it does mean that it takes a uh, good deal more concentration for me to successfully navigate the, the zombie maze that I put myself in. And I am trying really hard to pick up all of the uh, fletched crossbow bolts. I still have the simple crossbow bolts, and I, I might end up having to uh, default back to them at some point. Just as I, I run out of uh, fletched crossbow bolts, I did start the game, start the mission with uh, 30 fletched crossbow bolts, and we're down to around 15. All right. Now we just have to find the uh, the panic room, wherever that might be. Those dogs, man. I do not like the inclusion of the dogs into the game. That is no bueno. Really small, fast enemies are not my cup of tea. This looks like it might be the spot. I don't know, though. Oh, a lockpick. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's pick the lock here. We'll see what we get. Cans and a crutch. Engine housing. That isn't what we came for, but it is uh, pretty good. And we are going to have to start dumping some items... Let's uh, delete these big pieces of wood, because we have a lot of them, and uh, we don't really need them right now. Uh, we definitely want the sheet metal. We definitely want the sheet of steel. Ah, uh, man, I don't really want to uh, to dump anything else. Uh, let's go ahead and eat the chocolate bar. And the cooked meat. Just so that's not in our in our inventory. And we'll use a uh, small dressing. And other than that, I don't really think there's anything I really want to drop right now. We're sitting at 97%. Probably like 98% now. Um, encumbrance. So we really want to find our mission objectives and just get out of here. I'll, I will take orange juice, though. Orange juice is quite good. Always drink your orange juice, kiddos. Those coins. Coins and bracelets. There has to be a use for them. There you go. It could be a little bit finicky about how exactly it wants you to uh, to target enemies.
God bless the ones that just walk slowly towards you. Uh, up here? Maybe? At this point, I'm not even going to bother picking up my crossbow bolts because I, I'm i running so low on uh, weight, I don't think it's strictly worth it. God, where is this dude's frickin' uh, safe room? This is ridiculous. Maybe it's over here. Yeah, we're going to wrap up this mission just as soon as I find the safe room, and then I will probably take a break here. I will pick up those flesh crossbow bolts. Um, I will uh, probably continue. I'm not sure. I honest to God don't actually remember how many of, uh, of these videos I've recorded so far. I'm having a lot of fun though, so I am not uh, anywhere close to done with this Let's Play. I think for my own enjoyment, I'll probably keep playing this game for uh, quite a while more. Um, we'll see if it makes it up onto YouTube or not. Is it? A, it must be one of these. I don't know. I felt like it was this one, but it must be one of these. Um, but yeah, if you like the videos so far, I should uh, say this more often, but if you like the videos, feel please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have suggestions for what kind of games you think I should play in the future, or if you have suggestions for specific games you think I should play in the future, I would be more than happy to hear them. I'm always open to suggestions. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun. That's the whole point of this, is to have fun. Mm. Mm, no thank you. No thank you. Like I gotta say, I'm actually having a little bit more fun than I thought I would. I picked up the game, thought it would be, uh, you know, you know, pretty good, but nothing special, and uh, this is actually... This is uh, one of the more fun games that I've played in recent memory, I have to say. Uh, you might be watching this and think that's rather sad, but... Hey, you know, whatever. Teach their own. I can't get in there, can I? No, I can't. Yeah. Again, I do wish I could rotate the camera. I think that would be uh, quite good. Thank God we killed off that massive zombie horde. That would be awful to deal with right now. Why are we not... We didn't have the crossbow boards. That was very strange. The little ones... I will say this. The little ones aren't actually that, uh... That much of a problem. It's just when they... I think this is the room that we need. The place that we need to be in. Aluminum cans. Nylon thread. I mean, we're going... We're going to go so far over in Comfort Slimmer right now. I don't really care. If this is indeed the, uh the final uh, area that we need to go to, then, yep, small piston, small electric motor, sheet of aluminum, piston, sheet of aluminum, so this is just all of the uh, kind of crafting supplies that we, we really want, piston, hopefully the wrench is in here, no, I do kind of wish we had found the wrench. I feel like that's probably going to be important for uh, crafting in the future. I think that's an item that we might need. But if that is the case, then we can always come back and uh, try it again later. So, let's go back to... Uh, not back to camp that way. We do want to... Uh, yeah, let's confirm the quest. If I wasn't so far over my encumbrance limit, I wouldn't go back quite yet, and I would try to find the wrench, but given the fact that we are pretty heavy over our encumbrance limit, I think it's better to just uh, call it there. Oh, the loading screens. Again, it's only between going like going between missions and stuff like that. There's never any loading screens in a single area, which is quite nice. Um, like if we want to walk around the overworld where our camp is set up, we don't have to run into any loading screens. But the fact that we do have the loading screens between the different areas is a little bit irritating. Although I will say I am 
I, I like the, uh, I feel like the loading screens probably have a lot to do with the level of detail they put into the graphics and the world, um, which I, I think is totally warranted. I think the, the loading screens are, or that their, their graphics and the visuals are um, really quite good, to be honest with you. They're a little simple, but I think they're quite good. There's a lot of suspicion going around these days. The informants. We could actually go back and play like first improvements on a, a very high difficulty if we wanted to, um, but I, I don't think we will. So let's just go up to the camp and drop off all the stuff, and I'll probably wrap the video up there. It's a little bit shorter than I normally do, but I, I did do a 40-minute video on Turkey Town, so I feel like we should uh, try to balance it out, if you know what I mean. Dump all of this stuff. Yeah, 40. Good God. So, hopefully that does mean we have a lot of crafting materials, though. Can we build the armory? Accessories. Yes! Excellent. Let's build that. I, I don't know where we're going to put it, but uh, let's go ahead and build it. We're going to have to walk over here, I think. I think we will end up putting it over here, um, as much as this is a slightly less defensible area. I, uh, I just think this is where we kind of want to go. I mean, we could even put it, like, on one of the other access points, but I don't really want to do that quite yet. So let's go ahead and pop into our camp inventory, accessories... Yeah, that seems fine. Right there. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade it just to level 4, because that doesn't take very much resources. Canvas backpack. Stats, 60. Okay, so let's compare that to the backpack we already have. We have a canvas backpack. I don't think we can equip uh, more than one, so that doesn't do anything for us. A Santa hat, that's awesome. Jester's hat, mechanical heart breastplate, damage reduction 5%, that seems pretty good. A bullet mold, oh, if we get the adjustable wrench, we can make a bullet mold, which I, I don't know what exactly what that would do, but, you know. Uh, mechanical heart knee pad, bow sights for making faster critical shots, ah, oh, yes, please, that's awesome. So, not a lot of stuff here quite yet. Uh, the breastplate and the knee pad are probably the things that I want the most. I think if we upgraded this um, further, we would probably get a lot of uh, good unlocks from it. But so far, uh, nothing nothing too fancy. Is there anything else we can make? Foundry. I think the foundry might actually have some more armor in it, because it says working or smelting with metal, and you know, if you wanted to make like a, a set of metal armor, that's probably where you would want to go. Um, I might between videos go and uh, just scavenge the materials for the foundry and the chemistry lab just so we can get those up and running. Uh, I think that would be pretty fun. You know, or like not not having to uh, not having to do that between videos or uh, in a video. You know, I think that's a, a between videos kind of kind of activity. Uh, let's go ahead and spend all of our experience points though since we do have so many of those. Down to 25,000. Uh, do we want to spend that? Probably not. Actually, let's totally get these two. S since our experience with the zombie horde, I, I definitely want uh, that. We have handguns expert, we have crossbow expert. Alright, I don't think we want anything else, so can we upgrade the camp at all? Uh, no, we wouldn't be able to get the camp, so that's fine. We probably have new unlocks for camp crafting. No? Okay. I would have thought we'd gotten, like, uh, some traps or something, but apparently not. 
And we, I think we're going to start wanting to upgrade these uh, wooden boards we can actually now make a lot of, so the, the limiting factor is going to be box and nails. But, alright, I'm going to call the video here. We're already at 30 minutes. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do plan on continuing this series. I'm having a lot of fun of it. I hope you're having a lot of fun of it. Fun with it. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you have any suggestions for games that I should play, or if you have any suggestions for how I should improve my channel, if you have any suggestions for that, uh, please leave them down below. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.